Hey guys, Dear Phone Films, and today we have another Who Will Win? This time it's Velociraptor versus Orphalestes. Which, if you don't know what Orphalestes is, it's a really small ceratosaur that was an egg thief. Or at least I don't know, a uh, nose one like a ceratosaur. It was related to Confinipus or Proconfinipus. Same thing. Really? Well, not really the same thing, but the same species. So, this is the Velociraptor from. This is the, like, real life Velociraptor. Not the Jurassic Park Velociraptor that's the size of Deinonychus, but the real life Velociraptor. So let's get on with the stats. Orphalestes. Length is around 6 feet long. Well, actually, yeah, 6 to 9 feet long. Because I, I just remembered on Walking with Dinosaurs, it was 3 meters long, which is 9 feet. It was really fast because it was like a rat. And not too, not really that good of a powerful bite. Its height was about two feet to four feet tall. And it relied on its really good hearing and eyesight for hunting. And those arms were were really, really long. Long enough so for him to walk on all fours to like see if there's like a baby Diplodocus is hiding in a cave or in the grass. It didn't have a toe claw like a raptor because it was more related to Companipus. But it still was more raptor like than predatory dinosaur. So Velociraptor, length is 5 feet to 6 feet, which is smaller, and it's 2 to 3 feet tall, and it was really good hearing, really good eyesight, and a toe claw, obviously, for slashing prey. It, it, had good smelling, hearing, strength, and it lived on the other side of the world for where he did, or Celestis did. And this is pretty accurate size comparison of Velociraptor and Orphalestes. The Orphalestes was a foot taller than Velociraptor. And I'm saying one Velociraptor alone versus him. Because usually Velociraptors, and even sometimes Orphalestes, hunt in packs. Orphalestes didn't always hunt in packs. And if it did, it would only hunt in packs of two to three. So, who would win? Well, Orphalestes has bigger is bigger and has more strength so that gives Orphalestes an advantage but Velociraptor on the other hand can jump higher and had a toe claw for slashing prey so nothing would it would probably jump straight in the air and attack from the side and probably knock it over. And it probably wouldn't get off, but Orphalestes would probably be able to throw it off. Orphalestes would bite the neck of its prey and use its long arms to scratch and attack. And then Velociraptor weighed like 50 pounds, and Orphalestes weighed like like 55 to 65 so Velociraptor would have trouble trying to get this thing off 
him. And the Velociraptor would bite down. And had a stronger bite than Velociraptor. And the Orphalestes would probably become the victorious one. Because Velociraptor was a little faster. So these guys don't really have weaknesses against each other. Besides Orphalestes is stronger. But not so much. To make a really good difference. But Orphalestes is really, really smart. Velociraptor is smart too. Like Orphalestes, I think, was a little smarter, maybe. It was more like a Trudon smartness. And Orphalestes would probably come out victorious. But Velociraptor could win, but more than likely, Orphalestes would win the fight. Because the Orphalestes had a more strength and size advantage. But <clears throat> that's just this video. It's opinion, I guess. It's not opinion, but like opinion using facts. So, hope you guys liked this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!